Howdy friends, Bernardo Spaniel here from Nardia.net. I hope you're all doing great. Today we're going to talk about Space Marine Adventures Tyranid Attack. Warhammer community just announced this game was available now at Target, at certain targets, not all of them. And uh, there was no warning that this was coming, there's no heads up, it's just out. It's just out, if you can find it, you can find it, if not, that sucks. Uh, so far, America only in Target. Uh, when I saw the video showing that they were, there was their patent tutorial for it, I was curious and I went to Warhammer community saw that the article, saw it was supposedly available, looked up Target's website, saw that it was available in only one Target near me, so I did an online pickup order, ran over to Target, ran back, and here we are. Uh, shooting this in the bedroom today, because it is so hot and muggy in my apartment that this is the only place where it's cool enough to be comfortable and record a video. So, change pace, look at my wall of games. Anyway, so Space Marine Adventure Turn It Attack looks a lot like Labyrinth of the Necron, just reskinned. I don't know if it's a reskin. I hope there's more to it. I hope they made it a bit more interesting. I like Labyrinth of the Necrons, don't get me wrong. Uh, I have one of the expansions, not, I'm missing one, but I will never buy it because of eBay Evil Scalpers. Anyway, here's hoping this is a great game. Here's hoping this has a bunch of expansions and here's hoping we love it. So this is just gonna be an unboxing video. So here we go. So uh, this is my second take at this because my camera died, so sorry about that. First thing you see when you open the box is this sealed envelope. Now, the previous game, Race to Target, had uh, issues that we noticed when we went to go to Target here and there. The first one was the, um, a lot of the boxes for the Space Marine, the board game, game were opened and if you looked, if you took a peek, people were stealing the Titus Mini and some other components. So some boxes had everything, some boxes were missing. Maybe this sealed envelope and some other sealed things are meant to keep things safe. God knows what crime in America these days, you, they need to take every, I'm actually surprised this isn't behind glass. Anywho, so we have the Turn and Attack book. We have game boards one through six. I guess this is gonna be spawn points for either the turn into the heroes or both so it looks like just oh, okay still not much three double-sided game boards uh looks like this could possibly be a bridge between game boards icon and then you have little punch out cards for the various tyranids you have some termagons here you have some gene stealers uh i think forget what that guy is some warriors and a big dude broodlord i'm assuming and it looks like the big dude broodlord is under this hatch and it looks like there's some doors you need to open and close i'm not sure this is me just guessing i'm just looking at the components now but so far they feel all right let's pull out the big guy's card comes off pretty easy give you i think i'm pretty sure this is the big bat of the game there we go, there we go. So it, the other side of his little thingamajiggy is uh, this little hatch. So uh, I guess we have to find him in this little mess. So you get three stages, three little areas, two bridges. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a mission where all three of them connect and the rule book. So let's give a gander to this rule book. Really, really thin, thankfully in color. All right, overview. Turn it attack is a cooperative game. The players will all win or lose together and team decisions should be made collectively. You control a squad of superhuman space marine warriors who must journey through a derelict spaceship known as a Space Hulk and defeat the voracious tyranid aliens that dwell within. Excitement and adventure wait. Objective of the game. There are three levels to complete that you can choose from, each offering a different challenge. Level one is the easiest and recommended for your first adventure whilst level three is the hardest and where you will confront and attempt to defeat the Tyranny Prime. In order to win the game, you must successfully fulfill the mission objective for each level of Space Hulk, of the Space Hulk. So components, uh, game dice, there are five colored dice, six-sided dice for each one of the Space Marines, reinforcement bag, Tyranny creature counters are placed in the reinforcement bag and randomly drawn from the bag to be, um, throughout the game, Space Hulk boards, Space Hulk boarding vessel tiles, and then you get five Space Marines. Hmm. OK. 
counters, cards, setting up your game. So it's like the first page. It's funny that they count the cover as page one and the inside is page two. Throwing me. Next page. Setting up your game. I hope there's a bunch of replay here. How to play. Da, 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 da. I'll be doing some live playthroughs of this possibly tonight and tomorrow. Maybe throughout the week. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that. So far, this looks pretty easily, easy, lay, nicely laid out. And one thing that I'm seeing here that I like, that, it, that there aren't any pop-up bubbles with seemingly important rules. In previous games, yeah, so everything being shown here is in a paragraph. And you're not seeing, like, what happened in other games they would have. They have, like, little pop-up bu bubbles that sometimes would be, like, useless conversations, sometimes would be very important things about the gameplay. And it looks like they got rid of that and everything's just easy to read, clean, kind of like a textbook, which I very much appreciate. Talking about movements, interior reinforcements. All right, so here are our space marines. Every one of them is going to have their hem helmeted on option if I have my way. Hopefully they don't force me to have to paint faces. All right, and now after on page 12, it tells you how to play a campaign. And we just have miniature assembly. And that's it. Last one is a rules reference page, which is always handy. We have... A baggie, I guess for the Tyranid pieces. Some dice. The Titus card, if you want to play the real Ultramarine leader. <laughs> Two empty envelopes. Uh, three, I'm not quite sure for what, but there we are. So these cards were in an envelope that said open first. Or open, uh, let's see. Open now. And it was that point when I got to this during the first time I tried recording this video, my camera fell down. So I was like, ah. <laughs> so this is just a bunch of cards. Uh, I, this is like Space Marine Adventures Lab of the Necron. And it looks like this here. This will probably be the starter deck. Everyone's unique uh, cards. So open now card. You know, I remember in the first uh, Space Marine Adventure game, Labyrinth of the Necrons, I thought the um, Space Wolf was going to suck because, like, dude has a knife out and he's running toward combat. But he's actually really great in the game. Then we have Tyranid Prime. There we go. Gene Stealer. Lictor, Termagant, and we have activation cards, and then various pieces of war gear. We got frag grenades, crack grenades, Narthesium, Narthesium, suffer not the alien to live. Got some of these little powers you can do. Of course, there's a Red Thirst one. All right, so that's everything there. Next, let's organize this pile a little bit. We have level two, do not open. So, level three, 
do not open. I'll be obviously open this during the campaigns we do together. Advanced, do not open. Ooh. Oh, I hope there's some good replay in this. Oh, I hope there's some good replay in this. Level one, do not up open. That's kind of funny that's in the bottom, but okay. And then we have Spruce. Sweet, sweet, sexy, wonderful Spruce. I am disappointed knowing now that this isn't Titus, that these are just uh, generic Spruce. I think this is from the Kill Team set they released not too long ago. I think. And I'm sure I'm going to love them. I'm going to paint them as soon as I can. Although I love that they come in different colored sprues. So you can just assemble them and go. So maybe that's what we'll do. Let me know, guys. What do you think? Should I paint these things up ASAP? Or should I just hurry up, assemble, and play? I think I'm going to go with the latter route. But that's it. That's Space Marine Adventures turn, it, oh, turn attack. I like how this is set up. It, we have spots to put our Space Marines once they're assembled. We have a space for the dice. Let's look at the dice for anyone who cares about how dice look. All right, so five dice. Big chunky boys too. You know, I kind of wish I had a bunch of these dudes painted up already because I'm pretty sure these are some of the Kill Team uh, Space Marines but we're gonna knock this out this week. We're gonna knock this out and have a great time. Anywho, I am gonna, oh, that was probably loud, sorry. I am going to stop this video, upload it, and uh, work on trying to do a live battle report or just a, a, a pre-filmed battle report. Let's see what happens. Have a great day, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you have any questions about the game or anything you wanna see in the game, here's the Titus's card again, just in case. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, be awesome, be nice, and if you really like my content, please, please, please support me on channel memberships. Have a great day. Bye.